We've seen Josh be the energy oh, yeah. bringer before. Towns with an offensive rebound and a bucket. Carl usually guards Sabonis, so it's a cross-matching situation. But again, Minnesota's just going to contend with it, and Sabonis. That was a well-placed pass easy. by McConnell. It really was. Other guys have to step up and make plays. Kogi fighting for the basketball, comes back up with it. Edwards in traffic, kisses it off and in. This has got to be a game that that man right there has a big number. The others have to be in this game and be active and be effective. Karis LeVert goes underneath Towns and able to get the finish. Prince. Towns battles for another offensive rebound. Feeds it Kogi for the second chance dunk. Sabonis pushes the ball up the floor. So good at it, at it. Able to initiate offense. There's no reason why he should give it up. He can push it up the floor like that. That's attack. That time by Karis LeVert. Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins, when they first started out, were incredibly durable. Wiggins continues to be. Holiday right as the clock expired, the long two. Yeah, nice contest that time. Just a little bit strong. Duarte out of the corner, and he can certainly do that. The older rookies to be drafted in quite a while. Brockton gets a hand on it, and the Timberwolves suddenly looking at an eight-point deficit here against Indiana. Came this close to becoming a Golden State Warrior, too. The, the Warriors were going to take him at 14, but Indiana thought better of it as Malik Beasley knocked down that triple. Gets it back. Spinning on Palmaro and able to finish. Out of surprise, surprise, Kentucky. Ooh. Oh, Nas Reed showing the dunk a little. A little aggressiveness, Jim. That's fun. Schedules that you could possibly have, Dave. They've been really beaten up. Keelan Martin, the drive, and they, the, their, their strength of schedule has been very high. They've had to play. McConnell is played a lot of minutes here early on. Russell weaves through traffic yeah, nice. and finishes. <laughs> Off the... Off the empty possession, Brogdon able to get the bucket. Just five on the shot clock here, Jim. Towns attacking Sabonis and finishing. It's amazing how he works under defenders like that. Minnesota back to the small lineup. Sabonis for Brogdon, was waiting for it and drills it. Towns picked up the dribble and he was in some trouble and he... Try to force that pass over the shoulder, and it results in Brogdon taking it the distance. Holiday, the touch pass inside for Sabonis. Gets it right back. Oh, how about that move out of town? Unbelievable. Anthony Towns is more than willing to take jump hooks and layups all night long. Rocked in the feed for Duarte. I told you, Duarte is an active cutter. Brogdon is trying to draw that foul on Torian Prince. Sabonis so working the offensive glass. And the Timberwolves unable to take advantage. Torian is 0 for 4 in the game, 0 for 4, 0 for 3 from outside the arc. Sabonis, so a and chance one. for an and one for more info. Sabonis, the last time he was here as Minnesota gets the rebound. Towns, I think he was expecting Edwards to shoot it. He looked a little bit surprised to get the basketball back, but he's able to nail the jumper anyway. Anthony Edwards really competed that last possession defensively too with Karis LeVert. Edwards feeding Towns. Anthony Edwards is doing other things besides scoring. LeVert. Karis LeVert connects from downtown, his first. Russell, three ball, and the Timberwolves are back within five. That sounds like it could be something else. Jared wouldn't have been out here warming up if that had been the case. Towns on Bataze, and he's able to connect. 
8 of 10 for Carl Anthony Towns. Duarte leaves it short. Edwards pokes the basketball free. Numbers for the Timberwolves. Edwards for Towns on the alley-oop. 89% free throw shooter both this season and for his career. Edwards finally sees a three go through his first of the game. Cats got 15 in the quarter. The Timberwolves are back in front. And just like that, Brogdon puts the Pacers back in front. That's a heck of a move by Malcolm Brogdon. And he can throw, he can sling that thing, man. By the oh, Anthony Edwards. Look out! Edwards coast to coast up the steal. Ants can't sting. Great energy by Leo. Edwards knocks it away. He's got Prince with it. Prince back to Ants. Anthony Edwards putting on a show right now. He's got 16 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 steals and a block. Looking for 3 more points and he's got 3 more points. <laughs> The confidence of this kid, man. The two of them in the third quarter. And Jim Peterson, how important was it for the Timberwolves to take the lead going to the fourth as Reed adds to the lead? It was 11-2 advantage, and it's 11 all now. D'Lo knocking down the triple. What was Ant getting ready to do? He was trying to sling it. Somehow wasn't able to finish it. He lost the handle. The end, and then it's a four-point swing right there. Minnesota's got to take advantage of getting these stops. They've got a lot of stops. Russell back to Reed. Nas straight away. And this time he does connect. That's what I said at halftime, man. Shoot the ball confidently. Edwards sees an opening. Anthony Edwards right down the middle. Rick Carlisle is going to call timeout. Get back. Minnesota gets matched. McConnell. No, I'm not sure who Malik Beasley was even guarding that time. Sabonis. The handoff for McConnell. And the Pacers get it back to a five-point game. Only Andre Drummond has had more in a game this year with 25. And I stand corrected. That was actually 24 for screen. This is what I'm saying about Brogdon. Towns. Every shot's a hard shot for Minnesota. That was a really hard shot. And Towns hits it anyway. Matched up. Just too easy. Brogdon, I mean, no. Or, excuse me, I didn't think it was going to go. It did fall in. He is not a good three-point shooter. He's a, he's a short closeout. Defensive scouting report. He's 7 of 25 on the season for three point range. Delo on the other end takes advantage. Back to a five point game. To Okogi out of the corner. Missed fire, but the back tap by Nas Reed. And then they work it into the corner. Beasley the three. That's a clutch hoop right there. Rick Carlisle calls timeout. Can Minnesota get a stop? Brogdon Great gives it up. Man. Holiday. Okogi with a block. A huge, huge rejection by Call Me Nonstop. Rocked in. He knows. Man, that was too easy. That, early. that was way to 6.2 to go here. They got it up the floor and got two points in six yeah. seconds. Some rules, they just got to get it in. They do. Russell. And Russell gets fouled. Delo is going to head to the free throw line. He's been clutch. Carlisle will use the timeout. To they got, they got, they got, regardless. they got big, they got big bodies out there right now to rebound the basketball. But... Holiday gets the three up, misses everything, and that's all she wrote. And I don't.